The next few days are dedicated to getting out of a funk. I have just been in such a mood. I don't even want to share why because I don't want to start this video on a negative note because it's about to get positive. The whole goal of this is just to share how I like to get out of a weird mindset and share ways that I like to uplift myself and gain perspective. That's a phrase that I was watching my friend Allison's video and she talked about feeling this way one morning and she just said that she needed to gain some perspective. And I thought that's such a nice way to put it. And so in the next few days, we're gaining some perspective and I want to share a few ways that I like to just get myself out of a weird mindset. I am so thankful and blessed. My life is just such a beautiful life, the life that I have always dreamed of having. And sometimes it's easy to forget that with little things that happen, big things that happen. I'm also just feeling a lot more pregnant these days and I go in my closet and it looks like I have three things that fit me and I just don't feel like myself in my clothes. And yeah, it's silly, but it's just weird not really feeling like yourself in your own body. And so I wanna do things that just make me feel like myself, things that really do uplift me and also just remember that gratitude ultimately is the best way to get out of a funky mindset. And so for today, today is actually Aiden and I's three year wedding anniversary, which is very exciting, but we actually celebrated last night. We went out to dinner. So today's pretty much a normal day, but I wanna run some errands and I'll share the places that I wanna stop by. Not that I think you have to buy things to make yourself feel better, but there are a couple things that I have had on my list and just getting out of the house, even when it's so hot right now, that's another thing that has just been bringing me down. And then I do have some work stuff that I need to do, but we're gonna make it a cozy situation when we get home. We have that and then we have our birth class tonight. I actually think tonight's is our last one, which is kind of bittersweet, but that's another fun thing that we both really enjoy. So I'm excited for that. It should be a great day. First stop is Half Price Books because I finished the first A Court of Thorns of Roses books and I wanna see if they have the second. So we're gonna check for it here. And then I also wanna check the kids baby book section because I really don't have a ton of books for Baby Boy. I have a few that people have given me, which I'm really thankful for, but I wanna start collecting some for him. So I'm gonna see what they have here. I also wanna display some on some shelves. And then I also got a really cute little vintage magazine holder that I'm gonna stick some books in. And then after this, I'm gonna stop by Anthropology. I'm just gonna do some browsing. I really don't wanna spend a lot of money on fall stuff this year but I want to see what they have. If they have a glass that's really cute for fall, I might pick it up just for iced coffee in the morning. I think that that would be nice to have and we don't have a ton, a ton of glasses, but that's it. That's the only thing I'm letting myself buy because we are really going into budget mode unless it's baby stuff for the next bit. Trying to be mindful, which is why I'm at half price books because you can get good deals on some books here. leftovers from our dinner last night but I figured I could share a little book haul because I just have to say if you're in Dallas the half price books in Dallas is amazing it was huge they had so many good kid and baby books I didn't actually find the book that I was looking for but I did go to Barnes and Noble and I picked it up because I really want to read tonight I was gonna to wait to see if I can borrow it from someone but I really want to read tonight, so picked that up. Also, I wanted to record this in the nursery because we finished painting. It looks so, so good. The light is really soft in the afternoon. It also is a little bit echoey in here because I don't have anything in here right now, but we're gonna do our wall of wallpaper here soon, but I think that it came out so nice. It looks really great. Here are all the books that I got. They had so many good books, and it was really cute because they had a bunch of these kind of more vintage 
children's books, which these ones I think are gonna look so nice on the shelf. We have The Cool Ride in the Sky, Bernadette's Busy Morning. These are just so cute. The Littlest Angel, Fly Went By, Dumbo. And then I found Aesop's Fables too. And then I just got some normal ones too, just some classics to have. My first Bible, God Gave Me You, Peter Rabbit, Guess How Much I Love You, Very Hungry Caterpillar, and then a Curious George book. All those books for $48, which is crazy. So if you're trying to find books, I would definitely recommend half price books. We have so many squirrels that will go up and down this tree outside of our window and Cash will just sit here and watch them for hours. It's so cute. Did you find them? Did you find them? Just getting some work done and I realized that I never said I didn't end up getting anything at anthropology because I don't know what it is, but I'm in this mode right now where it is so hard for me to buy things for myself or even the house, things that are not baby related. I don't know if this is a nesting thing, but I just don't wanna spend money on stuff. I also think that I'm just thinking about saving money right now. And so I have no desire to buy fall decor or fall stuff right now, fall clothing. I also think that my anthropology didn't have all this stuff out yet because it's so hot here and it definitely doesn't feel like fall. But I think for Christmas, I will feel more of that, especially when he's here and it's all cozy and we'll be decorating a little bit. I also think it's because this is the first year that I'm not really burning candles either. We do have candles that are unscented that I've been putting out, but I don't really do scented candles anymore and that's usually what I would go crazy on. But don't get it twisted, I have spent plenty of money on the baby's nursery. That's a whole different story. Yeah, we're just going a little bit more minimal this year, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up some more work stuff and then we're gonna head to our class here soon. It's me from the future. I'm popping in because I realized I didn't actually get to share when I made that drink headed to our birth class. I was running out of time. I did not have enough time to talk, but I wanted to share water drop with you guys because I am obsessed with them. I've talked about them in so many different videos, but I'm so thankful to be partnering with them on today's video. Essentially, if you are someone who struggles to drink water, you don't like the taste of water, but you also don't wanna drink soda or something that has a lot of added sugar, anything, water drop is made for you. Essentially, they are these little micro drinks and they're these little cubes that you just pop into your water. You can pop into your water bottle. You can make mocktails with them. You can add sparkling water and they essentially are made to help you drink more water. But what's really cool is that they're just made from fruit and plant extracts. So there's nothing crazy in there. They don't have any crazy added sugars. Many of them contain different vitamins too. And especially in my first trimester when water just tasted so weird, I especially loved water drop and I wanted to share them today because they just released these new flavors and they are iced tea flavors. I have their lemon, their peach, and then also their blueberry. The blueberry is definitely my favorite and these are so, so tasty. This one is sugar-free, it also has vitamin C in it. And I really like these because they just have a very subtle taste, especially in the afternoon when I'm just looking for a little pick-me-up. And I also do have a code too that you can use. You guys can use my code Michelle to get 15% off your water drop order. Also when I cook at night, sometimes I will make little mocktails with some sparkling water and I'll also drop one of these in because they also have really cute glassware. We really like their glasses and their water bottles are especially great. I actually just got this new one it's the prettiest frosted glass it is gorgeous it's a lot more sustainable too just popping one of these into your water bottle and not always reaching for a new plastic container when you go to drink a different drink we're still suffering from a lot of hot days around here and so i'm really trying to stay hydrated yeah again you guys can use my code if you guys want to check out water drop i will have them linked down below in the description box our class went so well i can't believe that was our last one i didn't record there it was nice to wrap it up though i feel like we learned so much much. And now I'm about to get in bed. It's 10 o'clock. I'm going to read for the next 30 minutes. I'm so excited to start my book. This is something that definitely makes me feel a lot better, especially being in a funk. Anything that gets me off my phone, I find to be super helpful, especially before bed, just not to have thoughts looming over my head. And so I've been trying to read before bed because I know it's good for me, but I'll catch you guys in the morning. <laughs> Go 
Good morning, it's the next morning and today we're having a little home reset day. This is something that I especially love to do whenever I'm just feeling a little bit funky because there's something about just working with your hands and not being on your phone and just taking a couple of hours to reset your home that feels so, so nice. I do like to pop in a podcast or something while I'm doing this. I'm still not actively scrolling or anything, which is just good for me and it always makes me feel better. I think that a lot of things within just work and life, you don't get tangible physical results from, but cleaning is just so therapeutic because immediately you get those results. And so oh, I can't breathe. We're gonna spend the morning doing a little bit of a reset day. And first I'm gonna go ahead and switch out the sheets on our bed. I'm gonna wash these. And then I also have a wet dry vacuum that I've been using lately. And it is so nice for mopping. So that's always a thing that I just hate doing. So we're gonna run that and just generally tidy up the place. I've just been on my laptop getting some work done and also trying to deal with some insurance stuff when it comes to the baby but got a lot done today which feels good and now it's about five o'clock I'm actually about to go run and grab a Facebook marketplace find for my mom that's nearby so we're gonna do that and then I think I'm also gonna stop by home goods because I'm looking for a little side table to put next to the recliner glider that I got for the nursery and I haven't been able to find one at an antique shop so I figured I could go stop by there gotta drop off a bill drop off a package that was delivered to us that I think is our neighbors and then tonight we're having some friends over it's really exciting a couple of our friends just moved from Austin to Dallas we'll probably just grill out dinner and hang out with them and that is one of the things that definitely uplifts me the most when I'm not feeling the best just being around other people especially after work especially people that you can just really let loose with I think it's easy especially right now there's so many things in my mind that I want to get done but it's always important to remember that it is also important to have a social life and spend time with friends and really fill your cup with other people it just makes life seem a lot less serious and that is something that I need right now so I'm excited to hang out with them. It was a very successful trip. I got my mom's vase that she wanted and I also popped into at home because they're typically a little bit more affordable than home goods but I didn't see a side table there but I did get something for the wall that's super cute and then at home goods I did end up finding a side table and it was a really good price I love that we don't have to assemble it too that's my favorite thing and I think it's gonna look nice with the crib and the dresser that we have in there and it's the perfect size because it's pretty small that was kind of my last bigger thing to get and then everything else will probably just be if I want to add anything to the walls but I think we have most of the nursery stuff, which is really exciting, but I'm gonna go ahead and head home and we are gonna start on dinner for our friends. Hi there, how's it going? Good, how are you? Doing pretty good, what can I get started for you today? Could I just get a grande iced coffee with just light pumpkin cream cold foam? All right, what else for you? That'll be it. All right, it's 11.37. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! I'm looking a little bit rough because I just got back from the gym, but I'm about to get my first 
pumpkin iced coffee of the season. Today is the day that they're back. I did get an iced coffee. I've been trying to not do cold brew just because I think that cold brew is a little bit too much caffeine for me right now being pregnant. And I also discovered you can do light cold foam. And to me, it's better because it's not quite as sweet and not too much milk. This is definitely something that is a pick me up. Getting ready for the fall spirit. Like I mentioned, I'm not looking to go crazy on the decor this year, but I will be baking my fair share of pumpkin treats, drinking my fair share of pumpkin coffees. I love pumpkin everything. So this is a huge pick me up. Parks, just to share this moment with you because this is a very special moment. It looks perfect. It's the perfect color. Mm. I will say the marketing from Starbucks on their pumpkin drinks is just so smart because every time I take a sip of this, I'm just immediately in the fall mood. So good. Definitely my favorite coffee. Okay, now we need to head home and actually start our day. I just got ready for the day. I'll share what I'm wearing because this is so, so comfortable. It's a dress from Halara and I'm obsessed with it. For today's plans, I am actually gonna try to do our peel and stick wallpaper in the nursery. This will be in my nursery video that I'm working on. It has been so much fun putting together that room. Granted, we haven't done a ton, a ton yet. Even just piecing things together and just taking a couple hours to do something just with my hands. Kind of like I mentioned before, something that I've never done before, which I will say Aiden told me, I should say he asked me to wait until he got home from work to do this because it might be a two man project. So I'm gonna try to do one panel and if it just isn't working by myself, I will wait till he gets home from work tonight. But I'm impatient and I kind of just wanna try it. I am someone who just kind of goes for things when I wanna do them, which is probably bad. I should probably practice patience. Then I have some work stuff and I'm getting my eyebrows done, which I'm really excited for because my eyebrows are wild these days. My hair in general is wild. I also have a haircut next week, which I'm really excited for because my hair is a mop right now. I just haven't known what to do with it because it's so thick, which I'm so thankful for. I've been loving it but I do need a cut, so I'm excited for that and also excited to get the brows done. I figured I could share the couple things that I got yesterday. This was the side table. I think it's so nice. It looks so cute in the space and I think it's gonna look nice next to the glider that we have. And then these things I'm not totally sure about. The boat, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep because I think it's cute. It'll look nice with our shelves that we have. This is just kind of a filler piece and I'm not a huge fan of filler decor and artwork. I'd rather put up photos or prints that have some sort of meaning. And this obviously is just a design. I think it looks nice and I think it'll look nice with the furniture, but I did keep the receipt on both of these in case I change my mind. Just finished, here's a little sneak peek. It is so cute, I didn't do a perfect job, but that was so satisfying. Took me about two and a half hours, but oh my goodness, it looks so cute. Aiden got me these beautiful flowers for our anniversary, but I'm gonna go ahead and actually split these up because we have these guys that are dying and then I also have another base over here that is also dying. So we're gonna mix some of these in, refresh these bouquets. <laughs> to do some work but i'm gonna go ahead and wash our bathroom mat and then also our towels here that are looking a little dingy we're gonna replace those <laughs> some non-alcoholic ginger beer <laughs> to drink while i get my work done for some reason the taste of ginger lately has just been so so good dress options for the baby shower. I'm gonna put together a reel of all the dresses that I'm trying on. It's not a lot, it's like four or five because I can't find something that I wanna wear. And I'm hoping that these are a win. They're very maternity, if that makes sense. Like they're marketed as maternity dresses. And so we'll see, but they look really cute. I really like this powder blue color. I think that this one could be cute. 
It's like a one shoulder. It just might be a little bit too much. It's not anything super fancy or shower. So what do you think? And then this one is kind of like a one shoulder deal. But both of these are tighter, so I think that these should fit right. We'll try these. I'm also going to the mall this weekend with my mom, and I think I'm going to try to find something there too. So we'll see. I just can't tell the vibe that I want to go for. I definitely want to do something blue, but I'm not sure exactly what we'll do. So we will see. I just got excited and tried on both of these, and I kind of like both of them. They're actually really great. Maybe the key is just ordering maternity clothes instead of trying to make things work that aren't maternity because they're both so flattering and I just feel so good in both of them. And this color is beautiful. So yeah, I'll link these both down below. About to get my brows done. Here's a little before. I do have them filled in, so it's not really the best before, but they are furry. So I'm hoping that they can just do a little shape up. I'm going to the Benefit Brow Bar in Dallas and there happens to be a Sprinkles Cupcake ATM right next door. And so I think I'm gonna pick us up some cupcakes just for fun because why not have cupcakes on a Thursday night with nothing to celebrate. <laughs> To get started on dinner my brows are not my favorite she took off a little bit more than i normally get and it was one of those situations where she just kind of started waxing normally they map out your brows at benefit and kind of ask you what you're going for but she just went for it and i knew it was not gonna be exactly what i wanted i should have said something though once she started like oh by the way i like to keep a decent amount of my brows but that was my fault i should have said something if you have a good brow place in dallas please let me know i used to see adrian at the bush in fort worth and she did such a lovely job she was my favorite i just couldn't make that drive all the time especially now i'm trying to make sure all my appointments are close by with our baby coming in november or october whenever he wants to come. I'm about to start dinner. I'm really excited. I haven't just spent a long time making dinner in a while. And so we're doing a half-baked harvest recipe. I've never tried this. There's street corn chicken enchiladas. It looks really good. It's supposed to be a one skillet recipe. And I just kind of felt like making something a little bit more involved. So excited to try this. <laughs> dinner was so good it was definitely a filling dinner but it was really good i'm glad we tried it i am about to head to bed i'm gonna read a little bit before bed but i just wanted to end off today's vlog and say thank you guys so much for being here i hope this gave you just a few different ideas or ways if you're feeling down if you're not feeling like yourself getting out of a rut i am definitely feeling very refreshed and ready for the weekend but just in a much better headspace which i'm thankful for and sometimes you just need a few days to kind of get back in it so i hope you guys are well and i'll catch you guys in my next video